<laughs> Hello class, we've got a special lesson for you today. We are going to be looking at Raphael from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the classic collection, who's cool but rude, remember that. And we will spend a little bit more time on the packaging this time just because I want to compare this one with another one. But we can see it's Raphael, warning, choking hazard, we've got some other turtles, we've got the place where I bought it on here. But the reason that we're going to spend a little more time is we put it side by side with Michelangelo. At first we don't see too much of a difference, but aha, let's look at the stickers here. Inspired by the original TMNT animated series, 1998, 34 points of articulation, and here we've just got points of articulation, 34. Aha, we've got one with American packaging, okay? So it's going to look a little bit different, and I do just want to show the difference there. Um, first one is the little stickers here, talking about articulation and the inspiration. The warnings here is only in English. Here it's multilingual. And if I grab the camera here, we can see it's, you know, classic collection with French, English, and uh, Espanol. And over here it just says classic collection, which is nice. So if I take both of these, okay, that's fine. The sides are good. If we look at the back, so again, this is the Raphael, which I, it's the American packaging. It's all the same text. I'm not going to read it all, but it's only in English here. So it's a lot bigger. It's a lot easier to read here. They've got to cram it down because they got a whole bunch more. The picture is bigger. And then um, the bottom is more or less the same, except the picture again is bigger here than it is over here. And this one's got a whole bunch of other crap. Actually, it's got the distribution stuff for Canada. Spin Master, 450 Front Street West, Toronto. I know where that is. Um, and then on this side, obviously, we don't have it. But we can go to Playmates Toys or www.nick.com slash TMNT. Because that's right. If we look up here, and it's actually been on all of them. I just haven't noticed. It says Nickelodeon across the top of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Pretty sure it didn't used to say that. But I believe, at least at the time of this filming, there is a Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles show. And a whole set of figures based on that. I do not foresee any lessons from the evil professor on those figures because I just don't care enough. This is a total nostalgia thing, and that's why I had to get Raphael. Raphael is the first one that I picked up because he is my favorite Ninja Turtle. And uh, then the rest of them just kind of followed because I'm a completionist. So what we'll do is, is that we'll opening the pack, we'll open, sorry, <clears throat> the package for Raphael, and we'll have a closer look. All right. Here we've got the whole reason I started buying these figures. Mr. Cool But Rude. Haha. -ha. I guess he's kind of flipping you off when he does that because he's only got the three digits anyway. Hmm. Anyways, so here we've got Raphael. My favorite Ninja Turtle. Again, that's, I saw this one. Oh my god, I need to have it. Um, so the mold for him is going to be largely similar as all the rest of them. Again, the, the head is a little bit different in that he is... Got a sneer on both sides. He just looks like he's ready to just whip some ass, which is excellent. Um, the color, though, again, his his green, I don't know how well we can tell with Leo, is a little bit, uh, I don't know how to describe it, murkier, whiter, I don't want to say paler than, than Leo's. And there's a notable difference between his and Mikey's. So, um, and again, everything else, you know, pretty much the same, except red instead of orange or purple or blue or, or what have you. Well, I guess we should go through the articulation since that's what we do. His head goes all the way around, it goes up and down. We can rotate the arm there at the shoulder, and it can go up and down. Again, the bicep rotates, and this one is very loose. Two joints at the elbow. Each of his fingers move, as we indicated earlier, and his thumb goes all the way around, and it goes up, which is nice. It's hard to see, but if you look closely there, I don't know if my camera will focus on it, you can see there's a little bit there that indicates that's the joint that actually moves, um, which is very hard to do on most of them, but we can kind of do a reaching out sort of thing there. Anyways. Like the rest of them, we've got the that ball joint or whatever it is in, in the mid torso. His hips are on ball joints, so they go out a little bit. Again, not too far based on just on his, his torso. The thighs will rotate on their own. We've got a double joint there at the knee. 
the ankle bends, there's a joint there, we can rotate that around, and the toes go up and down. I think that pretty much gets all the articulation. <clears throat> Now, Raphael's main accessory, looks like there's a little bit of flash or something there. There we go. His main accessories, obviously, are his sides, which sit nicely in their little holsters on the front. And I don't know if that's where I would want my pointy, sharp things pointing. At any rate, he's got them, and then, obviously, we can put them in his hands, and he can bust people up really good with them. Sides are always my favorite weapons. For, for martial arts weapons. Maybe it's probably because I liked Raphael. I don't know how that worked out. But, and we can see that again, they are color coded red to make sure that we don't forget they're his. Kind of like how nunchucks are orange for Michelangelo's, the swords are blue for Leo's, and poor Donnie, he doesn't get colored tape on his weapons. So we can add them in here. One of the things I really liked, and it really kind of helped sell me on these figures. Again, was Raphael, and of course, being the completionist that I am, I, once I had Raph, I, I had to get the other ones. But I really liked how that instead of just the, the standard pose for him with his size, which are holding them like this, you could actually do other things with them. You could actually have him hold them in a slightly different way. Which again, sometimes, whoa, well, that was a fail, wasn't it? Which you do sometimes see... I don't know about in the show, I don't remember the original cartoon, you probably never even used them because they were sharp and pointy. But you can have them holding them in different ways, which is nice, because you could punch somebody like that and it would suck ass for them. Same thing if you kind of went the other way. I don't know how well that'll work. But I have seen people talk about that before, about holding them like that. Ah, anyways. So it is nice that you can, like, the finger articulation, particularly with uh, Raphael, really, really sold it for me. Just because I like the fact that he can hold his size in other ways, other than just by that handle there. Because again, I would it would be awesome to punch somebody like that. Um, so again, yeah, Raphael's my favorite. Um, oh, sorry, I'm missing one thing. He also comes with the sewer grate cover, manhole cover thing, which we can stand him up on, which is good, because much like the other ones, his hip joints are really not uh, solid, and he's got the same problem with the forearms, which is too bad. But I guess it's because of the weight. There's actually a lot of weight there in the middle. Um, we can put the other turtles out here for a second, just to kind of have them all in one. As I said, I don't know if these are the sort of things you're probably just going to buy one of, if you're so inclined. Um, just seems odd to have one Ninja Turtle and not the rest of them. But I guess, you know, for some people, if you like just one turtle, you might just get the one. And I know um, the other's got to be other waves. I believe at the time of this particular filming, Bebop and Rocksteady are out. They weren't out at the time of filming Leonardo. But that's okay as well. There we go. So there we've got all of our turtles, except Donnie's kind of blocking Michelangelo. Raphael, again, is my favorite, so I'm a little bit biased towards him. And so if I were to grade Raphael here, which I will because it's what I do, Raphael gets an A, you know, it's slightly because I'm biased because I like the, how he can hold his weapons and he's my favorite turtle. The things that knock it down from being A plus are a couple of the joints are, are really weak and that's disappointing. Um, again, I think it's just like a lot of figures that have the kind of ball joint hips have problems and it's just because they got to support the upper body, which, you know, it's not a horrible thing, especially once you have the figure stand. So I think that wraps up our look at Raphael and... All four of the Ninja Turtles from the Classic series. Thank you very much. Class is dismissed.